Hello there everybody, Eero here, and welcome to another one of my mistakes. So let's cut to the chase. I recorded about 45 minutes of Buckshot Roulette, the full game, and it was amazing. I used all the new items, I kicked that ugly moon face's butt multiple times, and what do I find out? I wasn't recording my audio. So now what are we gonna do? I'm gonna call this a retrospective let's play, where I'm gonna talk over the footage like it's a let's play from the past. Oh, and I'm getting mad dry eyes from wearing my glasses in front of the computer and that freaking light over there. From now on get used to seeing my eyeballs and my long eyelashes. So anyway let's jump straight into this thing. One thing that's never made sense to me is why you start in the toilet. It's almost like you just did a fresh new poop and then you washed your hands with that scrabby old soap over there. Shrabby isn't even a word. But anyway as you kick the first door down you realize that the architecture of this place doesn't even make any sense. You're on the mezzanine balcony level of a nightclub but you just came out of the toilet and there's no stairs up here. The only other door enters into hell. And I just know for a fact there's some secret lore behind this guy that we're just never gonna find out about. Or he's just an undercover call. Anyway, as you enter into the gambling room, everything seems pretty similar from the demo of the game. You see the moon face free from the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and he makes you sign a general release of liability waiver. For those of you that don't know what it is, it just means that moon face pie freak isn't blamed if you die. So I did what any normal person would do and put my name down as God. You quickly realize that the enter button does not work because moon face pie freak doesn't let you do that because he is the one and only God. Or he's just really religious and doesn't like that kind of blasphemy in his household. Anyway, I went ahead and made my name the second best thing I could think of. Within the first few seconds, I already popped the dealer and had 50% of his health gone with one HP left. He shot himself in the face, but with a blank, so it meant nothing. Anyway, next round was really easy because odds were in my favor and I just popped him in the face and beat him straight away. Now onto round two where you actually get some items. Just like any ruthless killer, I sawed off that shotgun to make it a double hit and I missed, followed by a brutal pop to the head by the dealer. But this is where things got weird because in the next round of opening items, I found this general release of liability from God. I'm pretty damn sure this is a secret item because I tried writing my name in like this at the beginning and it wouldn't let me. Is that because God played this game before and lost? Did he play a game with the devil? And this is his blood splattered liability form? Anyway, I smoked a cigarette to get some health back and got ready to finish the second round. I simply locked him up with the handcuffs and got him twice to take him down to one health again. So what does he do? The biggest brain move ever. He aims the gun at himself and finishes himself off. <laughs> well, he would have if he didn't smoke some cigarettes just before his round to get one more health. So now he's actually at one health. I know that lie was completely unnecessary, but I thought it would make things exciting. So I've got four health and he's got one. You think it's a pretty simple game, right? But this is a weird turn of events. He basically spammed me with his new items. He looked inside to see what shell was going to be next, got one health back from a cigarette, sawed off his shotgun, and freaking got me, dude, and put it down to 2-2. Two -two. I managed to pop him once, but so did he with me. And now we're at 1-1. So what did I do? The thing that I do best, I took it to the extreme. I freaking sawed off the shotgun with my new items and used that last bullet on him to take two health down, even though I needed one, which was a pretty dumb move. But hey, Hey, look, I got the job done and two, round two was over. Satan wins. Now that we're in the last round, things get a little bit interesting and new from the demo. He says to us, no more defibrillators, no more blood transfusions. Honestly, this sounds pretty confusing because I thought we used the defibrillator every single time we got shot, so does that mean we can't get shot at all anymore? And the only thing that I transfused was these nuts in your mouth, you moon-faced freak. Then this weird machine slowly starts to appear out of the darkness right behind our health points. It might look complicated, but it's just a pair of scissors. <laughs> and they slot themselves perfectly over over the wiring that connects to our health points. Almost like pulling the plug on someone's life support, but this time snipping their willy. This time we get a full stack of health points with these two weird health points at the end that I still don't really know what they are. They're hollowed out unlike the other health points. But we'll get to that soon. With one real bullet in the chamber somewhere, I made sure to look inside and cuff him up so I can make sure I'm gonna get him with it. I know it was a big use of items just to get one health point off, but this is the last round and I'm not taking any chances. So I got my brand new sword off and I prayed to mother luck and I shot him with it and and I hit baby two health points off. So now he's down to three health points and ever so close to those weird elusive hollow health points. With the use of my handcuffs, I had one more shot at him. So what did I do? Pray to mother luck again and use my sword off and miss. Look at that sad, beautiful face. I think this was like the 10th cigarette this guy had smoked already to get his health back. At this point, I really started to feel sorry for this guy because what does he do? He handcuffs me, uses his sword off twice and misses both times. Oh, sad, ugly moon face, pie face. My luck wasn't that great either after using the handcuffs, I only got him once, which takes him back down to three health. And what does he do? Cuff me up and try that sword off method one more time and get me. So what do I do? Take a page out of his book and smoke two cigarettes to get my health back to full. I also took a sneak peek inside the barrel and saw that it was a shot, so I shot him, but this is where things get weird. Now that he was down to two health and we see these two elusive life points, he ominously asks, are you ready? Which makes absolutely no sense because he cuts his own lifeline, not mine, so I think he's the one that needs to be ready. And so 
So what does homeboy do? Again, the biggest brain move ever. He turns the gun not on me, but on himself and blows his last health points away, I guess. Poor guy didn't even see it coming. He was his own worst enemy. He literally found the guy that was ruining his own life. It was him. So I got my first Fortnite Battle Royale in the full release and got that dough, baby. And this is when the game gets really good. Double or nothing is finally unlocked, which basically means at the end of every three rounds, you can double your money or nothing. Go through three more rounds and get double your money or die and lose it all. We see some brand new things in the poop room when we start now. These pills that are quaaludes and allow you to start the double or nothing mode and this unusual looking old computer that's been thrown through the mirror from the backside. Which makes me think that this is clearly just a double sided mirror, right? We were being watched pooping the entire time. That's so weird. And on top of that, the wires are still connected to the other side, the other room, and we don't know where they go. It's a Kony computer and the software on it is called Volta. On here, you're now able to see your total statistics, check some worldwide leaderboards, and I believe this is also where you're going to be able to start the PvP version in the future. But anyway, let's gobble up those quaaludes and start double or nothing mode because this is where all the new items are. Now the balcony is looking real tired and quiet because the undercover cop is gone. And the three rounds seem to start pretty much the same as usual. But this time I'm getting some new items like this burner phone. A mysterious voice gives you insights from the future. It's kind of like that magnifying glass but weirder and creepier. As you flip it open to use it, you get a quick glimpse at the home screen. 142 Friday, August 21st, 1993. I did a quick Google search to see whether anything significant happened on this day and all it says is NASA loses contact with the Mars Observer. Anyway, I'll leave that one up to MatPat or whoever is taking over his channel now. And then we start seeing some weird shapes from the future and a voice tells us second shell live round. It's better than the magnifying glass because it doesn't tell you if the second or third one is even going to be a live shell. It just tells you what's in the current chamber. So with my newfound knowledge, I popped him right between the eyes. And what does he do? What he does best, smoke a cigarette to get some more health back. That's like the 11th one. But with this new unboxing of items, I get three brand new items as well. This weird looking box is an inverter, which swaps the polarity of the current shell in the chamber, which is just a smart way of saying bullet becomes not bullet and not bullet becomes bullet, which is pretty damn risky business unless you know exactly what's in the chamber. This hunk of junk is also adrenaline, which steals an item and uses it immediately from the enemy, which is fan for fantastic. And the last one is something that you see in all of your parents' cupboards. Expired medicine gives you a 40% chance to regain two charges, and if it doesn't work, you lose one charge, which is again a risky game to play. Or we're playing buckshot roulette. It's all about risk, my guy. So I use my newfound favorite item, the adrenaline. You pop that cap off and unveil some spiky little prongs that what are you going to do with it? Yeah, stick it in your belly button. Not only does it allow you to steal an item, but it also increases the contrast. How nice. Hehe, <laughs> I yoinked that magnifying glass right from it. But it was kind of a waste of time because I used a bear item to get rid of one of the shells and then I used the handcuffs and I missed both of the shots so I just wasted three items for nothing. And this is where things get really sad. He sorted off and popped me in one round and I didn't even beat him. I just died. But we never backed down. Never what? Yeah, that's right. I came back and I came back stronger. This time when I saw that it wasn't an actual round, I actually changed the polarity. I used the item I was meant to with my magnifying glass and I popped him. But this, this is where things get really good and kind of funny. He uses the medicine and it fails and he just falls. Bro, I don't know why he looks so funny when he falls from the medicine. But no, this guy had a massive point to prove. He wanted to show me that there's no bounds to how stupid he can be. So what does he do? He steals my pills because he wants to prove that they do have a good side to them. But the pills hate him and he falls out of the sky again and loses more health. But Pie Face Moon Freak knows that there's another level to stupidity that he can achieve in front of us today. He turns that gun around with his final health and pops himself right between the eyes and we win round one. Now I must admit round two was pretty damn boring. I just used the items and I popped them off slowly and killed them. But hey look a win's a win and we're making our way through double or nothing mode and we're in the final round now. Because it's double or nothing and you might be playing again that scissors contraption didn't come out. It was just three health each and a ton of items and who's gonna win at the end? I literally went all out in this round. I used all my items in the first one. I used the magnifying glass and then I used the handcuffs and I sorted off as well and I got two of his health down and he was down to one already and we just started. And with the handcuffs I mean I had another shot so I was gonna end things right there and then but I missed. But this guy had another packet of cigarettes so for the 12th time he got some health back. But luckily for me I still had a saw ready to saw it off into a double hit and it worked. I beat him! All in two runs. And this is where you get given the elusive choice of doubling your money and going for another three rounds or just taking the money and running. But I grew up poor so what did I do? Take all the money. <laughs> I'm not taking any risks. Who do you think I am? No I'm just kidding. I ran out of time for recording so I took the money and ended it there. Oh and I also got a steam achievement for being such a cheapskate. Anyway next time I'll make sure I'm recording my audio so that I'm not a mime for 45 minutes. 
unless you guys like this and we can do it again. Bye.